of Goldilocks and the three dinosaurs. Sorry about last time, guys. We're going to start start of where we ended. Then the other dinosaur made a loud noise that sounded like a big evil laugh. But probably just a pilot. Nor Rangra's Preston. For jump, for jump. One second, guys. Okay, we're back. Sorry. The three dinosaurs went someplace else and were definitely not hiding in the woods waiting for an inspected kid to come by. Sure, though, five minutes later, a proper, sorry guys, properly surrected little girl named Goldilocks came trespassing along. Just then, the forest boomed with what could have been a dinosaur yelling, gotcha, but I'm pretty sure it was just the wind. The loud noise was independently followed by another loud noise that sounded kind of of like be painted papa dinosaur the trap is not yet starting but that could have been a rock falling or a squirrel either way goldilocks was not the type of little girl who listened to anyone or anything for example goldilocks never listened to warnings about the dinosaurs of barging into strange enormous houses one second guys sorry guys so as soon as Goldilocks came across a strange, enormous house, she barged right in. Inside Goldilocks in, in Baron smelled, apparently smelled the three bowls of delicious chocolate pudding. Mmm, said Goldilocks. That chocolate pudding smells delicious. If only I could get a all the way up to the top of that counter. One second. Sorry. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of pauses. Then Goldilocks noticed a very tall ladder. That just happened to be there and currently wasn't left on purpose. Goldilocks climbed up the ladder and found herself face to face with three gigantic bowls of pudding. Wait, let me make sure I didn't. Okay. The first bowl of chocolate pudding was too hot, but Goldilocks ate it anyway because, hey, it's chocolate pudding, right? And second bowl of chocolate pudding was too cold, but who cares about temperature when you got a big bowl of chocolate pudding. Sorry if you can't see the pictures. I'll go through the book at the end and show you all the pictures. The third bowl of chocolate pudding was just right. 
but Goldilocks was on such a roll by now she hardly noticed. Soon Goldilocks was stuffed like one of those delicious chocolate filled little girl balloons, which by the way are totally not favorite things in, in the whole world for hungry dinosaurs. The first chair was too tall. The second chair was too tall. Wait. The first chair was too tall. The second chair was too tall. But the third chair... was too tall. <laughs> Goldilocks wasn't going to climb that high just to sit in some chair so unlike so she picked over to the bedroom when she got there Goldilocks noticed that the beds were also gigantically big. What is going on around here? Drowned in the extremist girl. The bears that live here must be nuts. Just then, the room filled with a loud, booming noise that was another pass a passing truck or a dinosaur. One second. Sorry, guys, but I'll have to do a part three on the rest of the book because I got to go and do something but make sure you subscribe smash that like button in the face and i'll see you guys in part three goodbye